Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So today, we're working on the Paleo R and we are lifting the head of the Paleo R. Now, I've never done this before and I hope it goes good. <laughs> I have done a bit of research on this type of engine, the D15s, the Honda D15s or D16s um, on YouTube, on some sites. I've done the research of how to do it. I've got an idea how to do it. I've also spoken to the scientist and he asked that I sent him a picture and I did that and he marked what I should do first or what I should untie first. So we'll be doing it step by step with the scientist. Um, and hopefully I do it right because you don't really want to mess things up doing this especially when you're putting everything back together so we're doing this to check the head gasket i don't know if you saw on the previous videos you will have seen that we're having an issue on cylinder number four and it's pushing out water and it's also letting water into the cylinder so we need to check that out we are suspecting it's a head gasket um and we also uh, uh what is that now because when we put in the ARP head start, we moved from the paper gasket to the, I mean, from the steel gasket to the paper gasket. So the scientist thinks maybe that didn't work out well for the car. So we're just going to confirm if it is the head gasket that is messed up. If it is, we will most probably be putting a different type of head gasket in the car. So let's do this. Wish me luck. I hope it goes good. Let's hope it goes good. I hope it does go good. But let's do this. Okay guys, so some of the things that I'm going to have to do is remove these fuel lines, remove the vacuum lines, uh, remove the boost pipe, I'll have to remove the coil packs, I'll have to remove this water, this water pipe here, there's some other things i have to remove here the sensor there there's another water pipe there that i have to remove um i will have to remove this cover here to get to the cam bolt because we have to remove the cam bolt uh, let me see what else let me see Okay, for now that's going to be step one, guys. Let us sort that out and see how far we get. You will, the next part will be worth the stuff off because it's gonna be hard for me to video and work the spanners at the same time. So I'll just remove what I've mentioned now and then be on you guys again. Boost pipe is off, accelerator cable is off, the fuel lines are off, the vacuum lines are off, the petrol gauge, I mean petrol pressure gauge, fuel pressure gauge is off, injectors are off, as you saw, the ignition packs is off, water pipe is off, 
now I'm gonna untie the intake and then I'll come to the cam as well So you can see here yeah, the oil is very very milky it is not good at all not good at all alrighty but that's it most of the stuff is out all the plumbing on the side that sensor there there was a ground here the water pipe there is out this water pipe is out as you can see the manifold is out all the um, vacuum lines are out the boost pipe is out the accelerator cable is out fuel lines are out um, so one of the things I'm going to do now is I'll just loosen this so that I can move but doesn't really matter that's still okay um, but I'll have to mark now up here where I'm gonna slide this off so I'm gonna have to mark where it must go back and yeah hope for the best I will take off this tappet gasket out now soon it's holding on there tight I must take that out but yeah guys that's that so far I will see you later. Okay, guys, so I went on and put in some tissue around the sides of the head so that it can soak up all this water and oil that's there before I undo the head studs. And then here I've made a marking. If you can see there, it's with black, but I can see it from there. I hope it will work out. So I'm gonna also slip out the belt now before I untie the the earpiece.
right now I'm more of a on a standstill now otherwise he has the car everything is off the head is off um, cylinders look good showed them the, the scientists the scientist also says the cylinders are looking okay pistons are looking okay but those are small pistons okay so uh, now I just want to do a bit of a clean up on the head and just also check it if it's hundred percent so uh, that's my light today my garage doesn't have a light so here's the head yeah here so this cylinder is the one that had an issue so but looks like it's okay you can see it bent through there so I'm just gonna clean it more like this to take off this material off here yeah, you see all this just to clean it out make it nice and smooth so I'll just do that now and put the head aside and take things uh, ah. and then I will put everything away while I look for the head gasket because we found a steel one but the mechanic doesn't want us to use the steel one so I'll have to be going around looking for a head gasket the light steel one because this paper one doesn't work out hey guys so that's it for me for today ah, there's the head there's the top cover so i'm just gonna leave it like this for now i'm just gonna leave it like this for now until I find the head gasket I have tried I have tried to clean as much as I can tools still scattered there still need to pack the tools so that's it for day one guys I will see you again regarding this as soon as I get a head gasket and putting back everything together again to make it whole and make it boom and make it soup 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 so there it is guys the one i think was a success even though we didn't get a head gasket we have to search the one i found the the the, 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 the scientist doesn't want us to use that so we need to get the best one that the scientist approves so until the next one guys i'll see you there